I mean, think about it, right? Like Chelsea are what 42 points from 28 games and 25 goals and assists have come from like Cole Palmer. Take that away, I don't know where they would have been. Like he yeah. almost sounds as good as Saka, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I mean, like, going down the touchy, touchy, touchy train. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> I can't edit this out. You know that, right? <laughs> I want to bring the discussion on to a much lesser talked about club. We never discuss it. Probably a comical club these days. A billion dollar bottle jobs. Uh, but one player is definitely not bottling it, and that's Cole Palmer. Uh, City's loss is Chelsea's gain. I think City probably miss him. Guardiola would say no. Pochettino would say yes. What do you think about his chances? Uh, firstly, his performance in Premier League, and secondly, England chances. Euros coming up. Twenty-five goals, an assist in a season. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yep, he is, and uh, highest FPL points. Oh, is he at the? Is he at the top? <laughs> he is. Oh wow! Look at the boy. <laughs> he <laughs> almost sounds as good as Saka, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> going down the touchy, touchy, touchy train. <laughs> no, but I think I, I can't deny him the spot. I can't deny him the spot at the table. So yes. Al- although it's a touchy topic, it's a really good thing for England that we have two Absolutely. left-footed right wingers, and both of them equally class, equal quality. Saka has more, lot more experience, obviously, because he's been here doing it, and it's probably really good for England and also Saka in the long term because, like, he. The weight of the fucking countries, uh, it's a obese fucking country, bro. First of all, like, <laughs> <laughs> entire weight of those like idiots is, was resting on him, and they were so critical of Saka. And now I think it's good that like they have a different alternative, um, Cole Palmer, who with weird fucking teeth. And we are fucking. His face is a little weird, no? Yeah, it is weird. <laughs> well, let's not do. It. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like he needs help. Like, let's keep it simple. Like I can't. I can't edit this out. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he only looks like he needs help in the grocery store all the time. But apart, yeah. from, <laughs> apart from that, he's he's a class guy. Yeah. Yeah, and and the fact that he's doing it in Chelsea and like doing it so well, given the state of the squad there, like it, it just adds to all the praises, right? Like he is literally carrying. I I I don't I don't know if I'll go all the way saying he's carrying the team because the team are not going anywhere to be very honest. But <laughs> always that, have some shade for Chelsea, <laughs> no matter what. Always, always. <laughs> But no, seriously, with all respect, like Cole Palmer is one of those silver linings in the, in their season where, like, he was not the talk of the season when he joined or at the beginning of the season for that yeah. matter. And now the fact that people are even questioning oh Guardiola actually made a mistake. With keeping Alvarez and letting go of Cole Palmer, I mean Alvarez is also great, but Cole Palmer, my God, like he has been one of the revelations of this season, and I'm actually very excited for England because we have so many, like England has so many good players for in the national team right now, upcoming talents, and Saka and Palmer. You have Declan Rice. I don't know if Kobe Minor will be involved, but I'm just a bit of. I think it should be. Him. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, that, you're forgetting Philippe, bro. Fucking form. Phil Foden. Form of his life. Yes. Yeah. Phil Foden. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Exactly. exactly. The three of them on the right wing, like ridiculous. Yeah. No, no, no yeah, one's just too much. Foden. They're not gonna win shit, but it's just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, but like. Uh, no, I mean, with with that kind of talent, yeah. I remember. Dude, uh, Foden's twenty three. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. No, no, go ahead. He's twenty three, and Palmer left when he was twenty one, right? And yeah. could you fault Pep for keeping, you know, Phil Foden and sending out a younger player? Probably not. It's like couple years difference. I can't believe Foden's twenty three. By the way, I feel like feels like he's been around forever. And having a player like that, I would let Palmer go too. Palmer would want minutes for sure, and yeah, yeah I'm surprised no other team went for him, man. Like know, fucking right? uh, Spurs are signing Werner, Richarlison, all these fuckers, and you know, like no one actually went for Palmer. Like it's sort of crazy. And, and you know, Diaby went for more money, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, and you know, he would have been like really, really, really good at any other club. 
too yeah. like it's not it's not like he's only doing this at chelsea yeah. he would have been like fucking amazing and also like you have to give credit to cole palmer himself because this dude whenever he was put on like the city team last year he was scoring goals he was making the difference and stuff like that but to count on yourself yeah. and take a chance that i'm 21 if i stay here i'll always i'll just have to fight behind like you know ford and, and try to get into these yeah. like random 10 15 minutes per game i'm just going to go elsewhere try to like figure this shit out and i think kudos to him it's working out really well like and i feel like a lot of like city youngsters in the past have done that like jaden sancho cole palmer um and who's that brahim diaz brahim diaz brahim diaz yeah brahim diaz lavia like leroy sane yeah and it, it, it despite talk about sancho right of course <laughs> Despite losing like players like this, tells City just keeps. Um, City still has like a conveyor belt in their own first team and stuff like that. But um, it's it's like I would I have special respect for like a City Academy player because I feel like they are really worth the metal. Um, I do have Jason that. Wilcox might be joining United soon, head of their academy. That's who brought all these players. Yeah, I, I don't think it's. Mentioned. I mean, I do think it's the academy. but i don't think it's because of the personnel in the academy i feel like uh again with everything city i think this this comes with an asterisk they have academy budgets which are not related to ffp at all equal into championship side so i think there's a lot more to it than just the personnel uh who have been brought in but that's a conversation for a separate day i think right now it's about you know palmer and like yeah even chelsea do it i mean yeah, both of them, both them yeah so yeah. I mean, think about it, right? Like Chelsea are what forty-two points from twenty-eight games, and twenty-five goals and assists have come from like Cole Palmer. Take that away, I don't know where they would have been. <laughs> like, I think uh, Sheffield United is a good, good, good benchmark for them. <laughs> Cole Palmer was right, right below Luton, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's where they would have been. <laughs> I love Luton would not have been in relegation. Yeah. Fuck Palmer, what have what have you done? Yeah. No, but like imagine. Yeah. I remember when he came on, when he actually signed for Chelsea. He signed. I mean, there were talks that he signed only because Nkunku Nkunku was injured long term. Mm-hmm. And I remember doing this pod with uh, Chelsea Pakistan people, and they were like, you know, as soon as Nkunku comes back, Cole Palmer will be like a rotation on a rotation role and like what not. And I'm like, yeah, this is such a mad piece of business because you're buying a no name for forty five million dollars, and you're you know signing him for rotation when your first team player is not available. So what are you doing? But then he really proved me wrong, big time. Uh, so all all. Oh, where's Nkunku by the way? Oh, he <laughs> is, he, is he alive, dude? <laughs> he, he retired. He, he came back one game. game. Not suiting me. <laughs> he came back one game. He had an assist, and oh. I saw a lot of memes about like how he had more contributions than Anthony. And I'm like, bro, Anthony had like a sexual allegation, went to Brazil, came back, and is still around at least. Yeah. Like not injured on a medical. Field. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Dude, in FPL, okay, they count the number of dead FPL teams by how many people still have Enkunku on the uh, game <laughs> squad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I saw this on Twitter. And I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> Bro, I won't lie. I mean, I'm still lower than those <laughs> dead FPL accounts on FPL, even though I'm an active winner. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't good. let's not even go there, AJ. <laughs> yeah, but... I had three players who played throughout this game week. <laughs> <laughs> my FPL is so bad. <laughs> but I have forgotten uh... my login details. For okay. <laughs> you definitely have to go in your team. Apart from Cole Palmer and Kobe Mayno, is there any other English youngster that has impressed you? Branthwaite, Jared Branthwaite, uh, Everton defender. Yep. I think uh, he's still still a little bit raw, but putting in amazing performances linked to you guys uh, for a summer move. Yeah. Uh, I think he would definitely move to a bigger club as soon as uh, you know, as soon as an offer comes in, he'll really go, he'll go for a big money move. Yeah. And I think he'll he'll prove out to be a pretty decent defender. In the long term, he's twenty one six four. Like he's built like a fucking horse, um, yeah. and he has like the most aerial duels or something. Also, right? That also comes yeah. with the nature of playing for Everton, I guess. But mm-hmm. yeah, Still, or just Sean Dash in general, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's all they do. Training to match day, yeah. like aerial duels. <laughs> It's their bread and butter. Yeah. <laughs> He he seemed like a fairer version of Tyrone Mings than I saw. Brain dead, but a really good player. Dude. Like I mean, physically he's exactly like Mingsy, but 
just like football IQ is so good. Just so good at carrying the ball. Yeah. Fully good shout, AJ. And um, it's 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 future's looking bright for England. Let's see. Uh, f- I, but as long as fucking Southgate keeps calling Henderson, I don't see what is the point <laughs> oh. of having a bright future. <laughs> like <laughs> present. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that that, that yeah. boils my boils my blood. Henderson call, but let's move on from that. One. <laughs> All right, to Wait, is Connor part? Bradley. Uh, sorry, uh, is Connor Bradley also English? Because like he is. I thought he was Welsh. Also a big okay. Oh, he's Welsh. Irish, yeah, but I think he's also been very Welsh or Scottish. One of those, yeah. Bro, I don't think Conor Bradley or people like those stand chance in an England England team just because of the players that are in front of him. Mm-hmm. I mean, England this start. Dude, I mean, Trent and James are dead, bro. Like, this literally. No, but I don't know who else is there? What Van Bissaka starts or what? Who's playing right back? Bro, Van Bissaka. Oh, no, ben, ben, ben White gave a sucker punch to Southgate. It's <laughs> like. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like we need Nero for that topic. <laughs> Uh, oh, he said he was covering the he's covering Twitter during Euros and he was like spamming me saying, "Dude, apparently Ben White fought with all these boys and you know he got sent back and yeah. apparently that doesn't happen to get like sent back from the camp. That's that's sort of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> There's a lot of rumors on that, but uh, yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. Somebody stood up for themselves against Southgate, so yeah, yeah. That fucker needs to go. 